Good morning, guys. Maritza here. I um, wanted to make a quick video before I head to church. First of all, I want to say happy Sunday. And I, I do hope that many of you are starting to realize that it's so important to find a church family. I know that the consensus is that a lot of people don't like going to church. They find every excuse in the book. They blame the church. They blame the members. They blame the pastor. But Jesus did want us to unite. He wanted us to become his disciple. He wanted us to be more like him. It's really important that the true message and the true gospel get out there. And I know that churches aren't perfect, but neither is our world. So this division, this, this whole reasoning behind not wanting to congregate as a family, as a body in Christ, is actually destroying Christianity, in my humble opinion. Before I go on with this message, I wanted to give you guys an update about my mom. She's still in the hospital. They found a couple of blood clots. She has one in her calf and a very small one in her lung. They have given her blood thinner and they're keeping a close eye on her. Her blood pressure dropped pretty dramatically, but I think it's because of the blood thinners. Um, she's in better spirits this morning. I spoke to her, so she's responsive, thank God. And um, I just think it's just a matter of, you know, getting her fluid levels up, monitoring the blood pressure and things of that nature before she, she'll go home. I'm pretty sure she'll probably get discharged tomorrow. Um, you know, the, the lesson here, she doesn't drink water, you know, and, and people don't realize how important water is becoming dehydrated is no joke. And if you're on medication, as you are, as you get older, you tend to be on medication. My mom has been on thyroid medication for many years and, you know, they think they eat healthy as most people think they eat healthy, but I'm sure they, they're not, they're not putting in what they actually need. So I'll be very thankful when I get home and I'm able to, you know, put them on a regimen and, and look after them both. Once again, I want to thank you for your prayers. They both thank you. And they both are very appreciative of, um, of your prayers and, and your, your thinking of them and, and just, you know, your kind hearts. So speaking of kind hearts, there seems to be a massive, what would I call it? There's this movement to disassociate human beings from God, to disassociate human beings from themselves. People are, I mean, I don't think that ever in history there's ever been such psychosis and such focus on self. People have become totally narcissistic, totally mirror dependent. Everything is about what they're going to do with their body. They're not focusing on their spirit. And Christ came down here to break us away from this earthly plane, from this material existence. That's why he told the Pharisees that their father was the devil because they did not believe in the spirit. They believed in the rituals. They believed in, in doing stuff that made them look good. But they didn't believe that Jesus was the son of God. He even said to them that it's in their scripture, that it was in their book, that they too were sons and daughter of God. And they too, in a sense, were considered God. And there's something to that effect, which I'm going to speak of on tomorrow's show. It doesn't mean that we're gods, but we're part of God. We have the capability. That's why he told us you two will do greater things than I, but it doesn't mean that we are gods. We're nothing without the Holy Spirit. He even told his apostle that when he left, not to be sad that he wouldn't leave them naked, he would give them the Holy Spirit. He breathed the Holy Spirit into them. It's very important to understand what the Bible says. It's very important to understand the true words of the living God. And I continue to live your life based on the God of this earth, which is Satan. Satan dominates your fleshy meat suit here. 
God dominates your soul. But if your meat suit is taking precedence over your soul, then you're doomed. You're doomed to continue to make the same mistake time and time again, just focusing on your looks and your and the things that you want to do to your body. And that's all that you think about. And that's all that you believe is going to bring you happiness. You're going to be very disappointed because once all that is said and done, then what? You need to drink the water that Jesus provides. It's water that will never, ever make you thirsty. You'll be quenched. As long as you continue to try to quench yourself with your outer existence, with the material needs or wants, you're going to fail. I promise you that. A true transformation comes from allowing the Holy Spirit to enter you and you will gain a new heart and a new mind and a new way of, of thinking and feeling. Right now, you're thinking and feeling things of this world. The adversary controls that. And as long as you continue to allow the adversary to control you, you will never be saved. You're falsely thinking that you're saved. You're falsely thinking that you are okay with God. You're creating your own understanding based on a skew thought process that has been altered by Satan. It's very simple. I too lived that way for many years. It's not foreign to me. I too walked like all of you are walking. 22 years as a lesbian, 16 years as a trans guy. And whatever it is that you want to call it, dysphoria, whatever, I mean, because people just love to label things. It's just to justify, it's a great validation, to have people feel sorry for you. That victim mentality. All dysphoria is you're incongruent with what you want out of life for you. You want to look a certain way. You were born a certain way. The temper tantrum is the dysphoria. The so-called pain, and remember people, pain is subjective. Pain is subjective. It's, it's something that you yourself are, are trying to create an avenue. Okay, you're trying to create an avenue to justify your behavior and that justification was given a label so that insurance company could charge or yeah, insurance company could charge for your services or the provider could charge your insurance company for the services that they're going to be rendered. That's all these diagnoses are. It's a game and you're being played with and you're none the wiser because you think you're going to get something wonderful out of this and you're not. I can guarantee you that you're not. You may be what you considered happy for a little bit, just like a child gets happy when he gets a new toy and then the new toy gets boring and then it's what's next. The only time you're not going to get the what next, if you feed your spirit with the right kind of nutrition and that only comes through God. You only create wholeness through God. They're trying to outlaw conversion therapy and the only real true conversion is what people are doing to their bodies. They're, they're taking dangerous drugs, undergoing dangerous procedures that will cause traumatic effects on their bodies and on their brain. The only true conversion and the only true healing, because I don't even want to call it conversion because you don't want to convert anything. You want to heal. You want to heal. So the whole conversion, the whole transition, that's not healing. The healing comes from God. The healing comes from making peace and learning who you truly are, which you are a divine being. You are a son and a daughter of the Most High. Claim that title. That is the only way to true wholeness. And that's what you want. You're not, a, you're not gonna become whole by chopping and adding and administering drugs that are gonna hurt you in the long run. You're gonna become whole by knowing who you truly are, by claiming that space next to your, your Lord and King. That's the only way, guys, seriously. Well, anyway, that's about it for, for now. I am um, I'm very grateful and thankful that um, 
I created such a beautiful community of like-minded people, people that truly love God, people that are really aware that this world has absolutely nothing to offer them because it's temporary, short-lived, and very destructive. But eternal life with Father, that's eternal. That's beautiful. And that is the gift that we have been given. So take advantage of the gift and stop living for yourself. Stop letting the mirror take control of you. Instead, surrender to Father. I love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too. Bye-bye.